there's a mysterious barrier keeping cosmic rays out of the galactic center. The center of our Milky Way of Galaxy is powerful particle accelerator, new research reveals, but there's also some unknown mechanism that's blocking cosmic rays from penetrating the vast cloud called the Central Molecular Zone. This could help us better understand the origins of cosmic rays. These are the particles that are uh, such as protons and atomic nuclei constantly streaming through space at almost the speed of light. The galactic center is a zone of mystery. We have a, an idea of what is there, but it's so thick with dust that we can't study the range of wavelengths from soft X-rays through visible light. This has placed some limitations on what we can and cannot see. Now, according to uh, the abstract from nature.com, cosmic rays are important probe of a number of find them a fundamental physical problem such as an acceleration of high and very high energy particles in extreme astrophysical environments. The galactic center is widely anticipated to be, to be an important cosmic ray source and the observation of some imaging atmospheric Cherenkov telescopes did successfully reveal a component of TEV-PEV cosmic rays in the vicinity of the center of our galaxy. And here we report, they said, the identification of GEV-TEV cosmic rays in the central molecular zone with the gamma ray observations of the Fermi Large Area Telescope, whose spectrum and spatial gradient are consistent with that measured by the imaging astronaut atmospheric Chernikov telescopes, but the corresponding cosmic ray energy density is much lower than the so-called cosmic ray C component, it suggests that the presence of a high energy particle accelerator high energy particle accelerator at the galactic center and the existence of a barrier that can effectively suppress the penetration of the particles from the cosmic ray C to the central molecular zone. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And the article goes on to explain, it's believed the Milky Way, in the Milky Way, the cosmic ray CRs could be accelerated by shock waves in a supernova remnant or stellar winds of massive stars. Those charged relative particles could then propagate diffusion in the galactic magnetic field, possibly experiencing re-acceleration, convection, sp spallation, and energy loss processes. And these processes would lead to a large-scale, quasi-steady state cosmic ray C, which distributes relatively smoothly in the galaxy, as supported by the Fermi Large Area Telescope. But in the proximity of the recent or current active accelerator, the smoothly distributed cosmic ray C would be overlaid with a component of fresh cosmic rays. Observations of such a cosmic ray component will be very important in studying the acceleration, injection, and transportation processes of cosmic rays. The galactic center region contains a supermassive black hole that's called Sagittarius A. And other types of particle accelerators, such as pulsar wind, nebula, and supernova, supernova remnants. The large-scale bubbles in the, the gamma rays, radio, and x-rays, and the so-called x-ray chimney may be cons consequences of energetic activities of Sagittarius A in the past. A bright gamma ray point source at the galactic center, observed by some instruments, may indicate an episodic injection of high energy particles from past activities of the central black hole. Now I'm reading that quickly through the uh, abstract for you. Um, the uh, GCE galactic center was identified, which could be from either dark matter annihilation or a group of unresolved faint point sources like pulsars. In the central molecular zone region, CMZ region, 
the observations of high energy stereoscopic system, other Im imaging sources reveal a large amount of very high energy cosmic rays with a hard spectrum and high density, implying an injection of cosmic rays by a source close to the galactic center. Now, to reveal the nature of the component discovered, it would be essential to scrutinize different missions, emissions components of the um, cosmic uh, region to identify possible counterparts of the low-energy gamma-ray band. And now here we report the reanalysis of the Fermi LAT data, uh, LAT data, the Fermi LAT data and subsequent point source, and the diffuse model region it identified the component which is likely the low energy part component discovered and it support, supports presence of a high energy particle accelerator at the galactic center we further show that the inferred energy density of the cosmic rays and the galactic center medium region is clearly lower than that from an extrapolation of cosmic uh, radiate uh, cosmic ray c distribution the results, going quickly because they have a graph here as well. Um, there's too many graphs here. There's just too many. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not an astronomer, but um, then they go into a discussion and the methods of how they found it, the uh, data available, the code availability foreground background effect to examine the effect due to the foreground background we use outputs they said okay so in other words we have here what they believe is a barrier keeping cosmic rays out of the galactic center um, the solar system cosmic ray models by the solar wind it's possible that the galactic center and the galactic wind fulfills a similar ro role. The team calculated cosmic ray density in the presence of the wind and returned a similar result in their analysis of the gamma ray data. And they need, of course, more work to explore this phenomenon in more detail. It may help rule out some of the mechanisms that could be causing it. Also, in more detail, three-dimensional modeling of the galactic center would help shed more light on the origin and transport of cosmic rays in the Milky Way. So this was, of course, on it's on Nature Communications, and um, I'll leave a link below for you as well on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.